What's up, my crypto legends? In this episode, we're going to take a look at the Bitcoin price on the one hourly chart. And I just want to do a recap of what has been happening in the last few days and what could happen in the next coming hours and days. Also, shorting here at this level, longing at this range, also taking profits from this short, actually taking 50% of this other long position, totally protected. And I'm going to explain why I did enter a short hedge position against this long that I do have already protected. All right, just in case the market does roll down and this inverse head and shoulder that everyone is talking about right now is probably not going to play out and we're actually going to go down from these levels i'm going to explain my strategy and explain the potential scenarios that could happen where the price could stop where the price could bounce from guys so make sure to stay tuned Hi there Andy here, welcome back to another episode of Bitcoin Census. If you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, daily tell on Bitcoin crypto. I also do live streams to connect with the community. I am not a financial advisor, so do not buy or sell anything that I say. Let's dive in here straight into the one hourly chart, guys. I want to try and keep this really simple. I want to explain the levels, why I've got these levels and why they have been respecting very, very much. All right. Now, let's just go here from 21st of June because I've had a pretty nice training week, all right? Shorting this major level here, this resistance. Why did we? Sh why did I short it? Why did I explain this short position on the live stream on the 21st of June? Well, it's because we were hitting this big major resistance level, as you can see, getting that reaction, also getting the resistance, all right, from this lower high trend line, hitting this level, looking for lower from this high point, looking for actually that $20,400 range, protecting position, taking profits, and actually closing all of the position when I had all of this consolidation. Now, resistance, why did we hit resistance? Like I showed you right over here, because we had several touches. We've also got this ascending channel, okay? We got the higher highs, higher highs, higher highs, higher lows, perfect ascending channel, bang, hit resistance, it is time to correct. This is why I did enter this short position. Um, also, what else? It is the value area high from the volume traded, all right? The last 10 days, 10, 15 days approximately, as you can see, in the month of June, value area high is at this $21,400 range. Value area low is around about the 19,000, okay? 800, 19,900, all right? Where the volume, you know, suddenly disappears. This is the value area low and value area high where you will get very much respected, okay? Once you hit the highs or the lows from that range. So this is why I did short here. The reason why I took all of the profits because, you know, we were forming a kind of a, you know, big consolidation, a kind of a diamond uh, bottom pattern here, reversal. And we were already hitting, you know, the 50% Fibonacci, almost the 50%. And I was planning to add into my position here, into a long position and plan to add, okay, if we were going to correct back down because I knew there was a lot of support and we were very likely going to create a higher low from this zone. So I did risk less than 1% of my, of my capital and was ready to add up to my position if we were going to have a consolidation lower so so far so good uh, this trade good this trade good also now we are here now i am expecting you know that potential pump are we going to manage to pump from this range now there is one thing that is happening okay here we are hitting this value area high again okay it's a major major zone value area high from the volume profile we are actually not breaking successfully from this resistance trend line from the lower highs this is not a successful breakout. We're still just having that volatility. So the probabilities in actually getting rejected here after multiple attempts are still, you know, are very, very high. The longer time we are here, okay, that I get more bearish. I'm more, you know, the more the exhaustion it is for the bull. So the possibility in actually dropping from this range, you know, is very, very possible. Value area high, big, big resistance zone. We've got the lower high resistance trend line. So, and we also hit, okay, this is super important. I'm going to go directly into this harmonic pattern. What harmonic pattern? This is a bullish harmonic pattern, but from this level, we should be dropping to much lower levels, well below $20,000. I'm going to explain it right away. We actually hit from this high point to the lows, the 0.88 Fibonacci retracement. And when, when, I, when, I, when I see a price hit a 0.88, all right, on the retracement, I directly think in harmonic pattern. And this harmonic pattern is a Gartley pattern. Let me see if I do have, uh, no, I'll draw it here one second. It's a Gartley pattern from this point, this point over here, almost hitting the 50% Fibonacci retracement here, hitting the 0.88 right there. And here you should be hitting around about the 0.78, all right, 618 levels approximately on this big massive drop that could potentially happen now if we do drop 
to these lows and actually break this low, it is very, very likely that this is finally going to come down to the D point here, to the point 618.78 from this low to the high very likely to happen all right now the reason why the, the we do have a projected move here is the expansion from this b point okay to the c point the point one six one eight very famous okay expansion from a potential consolidation and a breakdown from a low okay point six one eight which would be around about the eighteen thousand six hundred eighteen thousand seven hundred dollar range um so this is, you know, this is the thing. I'm going to explain why I am in a hedge position. And this is a win-win because I am in a long and I'm, I'm, I am in a short right now, okay? This short position is to hedge, all right, against this long, just in case I do get stopped out at break even. And we do have that leg, leg to the downside. Now, my stop loss from this short position is just above this range, slightly above, because if we do attempt to break this high, it is very, very likely we're going to see that pump potentially to $22,500. $500 that I do explain why I think we could hit that level in today's live stream. If you haven't checked it out, check out today's live stream. And um, so this is what I am looking for. If I do get stopped out, okay, I have entered here around about the $21,100 range. As you can see here on Bybit, I, did, I am in this short position, currently at my entry point almost. And, you know, this is a hedge position just in case we do get that uh, drop okay if we do start pumping i will get stopped out that is totally fine i will be riding still the long position that i did enter here now if you want a bonus you got it down below if you are interested in trading on buy a bit you are experienced you get up to four thousand and fifty dollars worth of bonus guys it's another way to support the channel but you get the best bonus available on Bybit, my favorite swing trading platform. This is going to basically be it for the next coming hours and days, guys. Not much to add. We either have an explosive move to the upside after this consolidation, hitting potentially, you know, the $22,500 range, which is a major daily zone. We also got a nice resistance here. So it's very, very possible we will be consolidating there for quite a few hours. We can check this tomorrow to see what has happened, or we can either start correct here to complete this Gartley pattern all right could potentially even dropping below the $19,400 range where we do have some strong support okay we might be holding this range for a little bit and maybe continue back down and here is where I would be looking for potential long opportunities all right at the point 78 Fibonacci from this low to the high is where I would be looking for long opportunities if we do get a consolidation at this range, guys, the 18,450. Now, there will be a stop, definitely, if we start rolling down here at the $19,400. I'm not interested in longing this range, or depending on if it's going to be a big, big consolidation and multiple attempts here to break lower, then I would be interested in longing. I would be interested more in longing here, the D point, okay, from this Gartley harmonic pattern, which is at the 0 0.78 range, 18,000. $450 if we were to have that drop like I showed you in today's stream we do have two days to make it a one-to-one -one. so there's plenty of time to roll down here in the next couple of days to complete that harmonic pattern now if we do not drop from this low and we start pumping then absolutely beautiful if we do hit this high it is very very likely that we are actually going to continue back up this is why i do got I, I do have a stop loss at this level from my short position because if we do come all the way up here it's very unlikely that we are going to create a double top because we're already going to be above the value area high here from this range and we're already you know breaking the lower high from this resistance trend line so it's very very likely that you are going to have that continuation to the upside if this does happen okay stay cautious guys with your trading all right we've talked about major levels here for potential trading opportunities in today's live stream also make sure to absolutely destroy that like button check out the bitcoin census website for the latest news and technical analysis ideas all the info is down below we follow all our socials also down below instagram twitter guys we're posting stuff every single day thank you and i will see you in the next one